The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. What I want us to do is actually look at some of the crosses that Mendel did. So we're delving further into uh, figuring out what exactly his law of segregation was all about, this key principle. So one of the traits that he selected to study was flower color, so the color of the flowers of the garden pea. And what he actually did is that he crossed uh, what we call true breeding purple plants, so true breeding purple plants right there, pure lines, uh, with true breeding white colored plants. Now the resulting F1 generation, the first filial uh, generation, were then allowed to self-pollinate or cross-pollinate to produce the second filial generation. So the parental generation had pure lines, the purple and the white. They were uh, bred or crossed to form the F1 generation. And the F1 generation was uh, self self-pollinated or cross-pollinated to form the F2 generation. Now, what I want you guys to also remember is that at the time he was doing these experiments, in the 19th century, most Biologi biologists at the time uh, ascribed to a hypothetical model of inheritance that we call blending. So this model was never really formalized into scientific theory, but what blending or the theory of blending actually stated was that um, traits that are inherited by uh, offspring were actually determined uh, randomly and they were an interim or a mix of the homologous traits of the parents. So to give you an example to explain what I'm talking about, if you had a tall person uh, mating with a short person, the expectation was that their offspring would be of average height. So there'd be an interim between tall and short. So that's what the blending model was all about. And at the current time, when Mendel was performing his experiments, that was what most people believed to be true. What Mendel actually saw when he did, he did, he did his experiments was actually quite the opposite. All the flowers in the first filial generation, so the F1 generation produced by crossing the parents, they were all purple. So the white color, the white color character had completely disappeared in the F1 uh, generation. Now after he crossed the F1 generation, the F1 hybrids, the white colored flowers reappeared, they magically reappeared in the second filial generation, so the F2 generation. So what happened to the white color in the first filial generation and why did it reappear randomly in the second filial generation? Now, Mendel kept very accurate records and used very large sample sizes. So he took note of the fact that in the second filial generation, he had about 705 purple plants and he had about 224 uh, white flowered plants. So an approximate ratio of three to one. So for every one white colored uh, for every plant he saw with white colored flowers, there were three plants that had purple colored flowers. So Mendel was then very insightful in his analysis of this observation. So what he actually reasoned was that the heritable factor, or what we now call the gene, that is actually responsible for controlling flower color, white flower color specifically, was somehow hidden or masked in the F1 generation. And it was hidden or maxed because of the presence of the factor that controls purple color. So in Mendelian terminology, uh, purple flower color is considered a dominant trait. And the white flower color that was masked in that F1 generation is considered a recessive trait. So this is very insightful if you think about it for him or for him to be able to discern that the factor that was still present in the F1 generation but just suppressed or hidden or masked, that's something that was very insightful on his part.